The controversial communal violence bill is getting a fresh push from the government, with Minority Affairs Minister K. Rahman Khan even pitching for its introduction in the winter session of parliament. The bill aims to protect minorities from targeted attacks. The BJP says the bill is deeply flawed since it assumes that only minorities are the victims of targeted violence, something it says will divide the country. Could the Muzaffar Nagar riots be the trigger for the UPA to bring the long-pending communal violence bill in the coming session of parliament? It is in the interest of the nation that a bill such a bill should be there. After the Muzaffar Nagar riots, Khan wrote to the Prime Minister and the Congress President to fast-track the bill. But the opposition has questioned the government's timing just ahead of elections. This is part of the appeasement politics. For over two years now, the Home Ministry has been examining a draft anti-communal violence bill prepared by Sonia Gandhi-led National Advisory Council. The draft proposes to punish officials for dereliction of duty. Senior officials will be liable for the actions of their juniors. Junior officials too cannot claim immunity by stating that they were following orders make officials who can give orders to armed forces accountable for failing to control riots. But the most controversial bit is that a victim is being defined as from a religious or linguistic group that's in minority. There could be a uh, uh, rethinking on the definition that could not be because the victim is a victim. Taking strong objection, BJP's Arun Jaitley had written earlier. If the proposed bill becomes a law, then the centre will legislate on a subject squarely within the domain of the states. Also, he says the draft bill assumes that communal trouble is created only by members of the majority community. What is required is a political will, not a bill. The communal violence bill has been in the works since the tenure of UPA 1. But given the strong objections raised by political parties, the bill has been in cold storage for quite some time. But now, just ahead of 2014 elections, will the UPA government find the political will to push through this legislation? In New Delhi, Sandeep Pukan, NDTV. So is this really appeasement by the Congress party? Is this a poll gimmick or does India really urgently need a legislation to deal with communal violence? Joining us tonight, BJP spokesperson Siddharth Nath Singh. Kamal Faruqi, senior Samajwadi party leader, joins us here in the studio. Also with us shortly will be Abhishek Singhvi, Rajya Sabha MP of the Congress party and its spokesperson. We're joined by Shahid Siddiqui, the editor of Naidunya and our commentator, uh, also our commentator tonight is Aarti Jairath. Let me first ask Mr. Uh, Faruqi. Mr. Faruqi, the BJP has questioned the timing of this move, that, saying that this is not right. The Congress has actually cited the violence in Muzaffar Nagar as a reason as to why they want to push ahead with this at this moment. Is, wh why now? Is this the right time to do this? No, this bill should have come much earlier because that was the plank of, of uh, manifesto. That, that was very much there in the manifesto itself and that was there in common minimum program also. After 2002, uh, the uh, Congress government, the UPA uh, uh, came to power on the uh, commitment that they will bring in a legislation which will curtail, which will uh, um, uh, protect the victims and which will curtail the uh, uh, communal violence which is happening in the country in a b big manner. Now, the, uh, this they, then they brought up a bill in 2005 which is absolutely absurd because it is giving more power to the centre and uh, the, uh, ultimately the victims will be suffering. Then there was a lot of hue and cry from all the quarters including BJP, including all other people and there was a rethinking and they then again uh, uh, they brought in another uh, legislation wherein 59 amendments were brought in. Even in, in those 59 amendments, absolutely nothing was there for the uh, victims and rehabilitation. Rather, it was just b here and there b some cosmetic. B and thing now you fact. have a draft that the NAC wrote and submitted now to the NS Home Ministry. NAC yes. also gave a, a draft, and uh, not the draft, rather the suggestion of what could be the suggestion. And even after that, NAC members have been pleading that uh, it's not the final word from our side. So we can have a rethinking on this. As far as Rahman Khan said right now is saying that victim is a victim whether he is a Muslim or a Hindu or majority or minority. So if we are giving the, uh, uh, the definition, we can change it. The government has, uh, is within power to change. As, as far as the federal structure is concerned, yes, we don't want the federal structure to be changed. But at the same time, there has to be an accountability. There has to be a responsibility of the people who are working over there. 
pre uh, communal right during the communal rights and after communal rights these are the three areas <coughs> so you <coughs> believe that the, uh, the the it should have come a long time ago and it's a welcome yes, step if it's it, a welcome it, step it yeah, should okay. come but so what's it, wrong with that siddhartnath singh because if the bill now does come forward it will come to parliament you can make whatever changes that you know you want to suggest but doesn't india need this legislation as mr farooqi says for whatever reason it is important that it goes through now nidhi there is something which is called timing of the bill now the timing of the bill is purely a poll gimmick if they have been serious and they wanted to fulfill the commitment that they had given to the minorities or to the nation that communal violence need to be stopped and those who are guilty needs to be punished bjp is not against that but the way you have defined the whole thing the the definition in itself says that the majority will is culpable only culpable for uh, creating communal violence and the minorities will not do it and it can vary from a state to state where where the definition of a, com, a minority versus a majority can go i'm not getting into that uh, technical side of it but let me say it's a poll gear gimmick and why i'm saying let me highlight it there has been a muzaffarnagar riots which just took place it has been widely reported the governor himself sent a report accusing the state government samajwadi party government for uh, instigating the riots and not able to control law and order but and also there has been a sting operation by various channels the central government kept quiet they have under the constitution authority to send advisory they even refused to send an advisory to the state government now when you do not act whatever the law allows you to act under these circumstances you cannot be serious by saying we are serious about the communal violence okay. bill and therefore we are introducing okay so, so let me take that, that question of timing, timing first timing it's a poll game and it is an appeasement which is unfortunate and you cannot I think India has faced enough, irrespective of anyone. India has faced enough of this communal divide between the majority and the minority, and this is something this bill is going to do.